Hello everyone. We are going to present our assessment on the internationalization of Saudi Aramco for our module 7042 SSL, the Global Business Environment, Evolution and Dynamics. Our team members include myself, Sanjay. We have Anjali, Terry, Himanshu and Shanas. Saudi Aramco is 91 years old as of 2024. The lead negotiators from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the California-based oil company Sokal signed the concession agreement in Jidda on May 29, 1933. So it was called as Californian Arabian Standard Oil Company. Later, it was renamed as Arabian American Oil Company. The state-owned company has its headquarters in Dharam, Saudi Arabia, and has been extracting, producing, processing, refining, and distributing crude oil and natural gas. And the market operation of the global operation of Saudi Aramco is represented by three major energy markets, which include Asia, Europe, and North America. Saudi Aramco has two of the world's biggest onshore and offshore fields, namely Gawar and Shifania, located in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia. Aram, uh, Aramco has 12 plus refineries, 14 plus offices, and 11 group resource centers around the world. The map on the right hand side shows the location of Saudi Aramco around the world. To achieve its vision 2030, Aramco has taken four strategic themes across its business. Upstream focuses on crude oil production, downstream that focuses on uh, international subsidiaries, low carbon initiatives focus on the development of low carbon products and localization focuses on developing local producers and suppliers to increase the country's economy. The products have increased lately other than crude oil, natural gas includes blue ammonia, non-metallics and many more. Major competitors for Saudi Aramco includes Exxon, Mobile, Royal Dutch Shell, British Petroleum, Chevron, and Total Energies. When it comes to the internationalization of Saudi Aramco, Saudi Aramco is making an impact in the international market by acquiring the company and uh, through joint ventures. Around the world, Saudi Aramco operates its business through 87 wholly owned and 172 partially owned and 12 joint operations, 35 joint ventures, and 9 associates. As a result, the Saudi Aramco owns a company in each sector, starting from oil mining from wells to refining it and making it available to the customers, delivery in each step of the production and refining. Major ventures include Saudi Basic Industry Corporations, Fusion Refining and Petrochemical Company, to name a few. A land show which specialized in making a synthetic rubber was found on April 1, 2016 as a joint ventures of Langness and uh, Saudi Aramco. Saudi Aramco bought the Orlangshu around the Euro 1.4 billion from Langshu from 2002 until uh, 2017. A Texas based Motiva was operated as a 50 50 joint venture between Shell and Saudi Aramco. On May 1, 2017, Saudi Aramco completed its acquisitions. Motiva Enterprises Petroleum Distribution Company becomes one of the wholly owned companies. They are also licensing their carbon capture technology to Sweden based Define. Saudi Ramco Technologies company has successfully demonstrated its uh, MCC technologies in passenger road transportation and more recently in a heavy duty truck with up to 40% carbon captures. According to the Dafin technology, the underlying technology is scalable and can be applied to the maritime transportation market. Joint ventures with Cognite uh, CNTXT will provide digital transformation services in the Middle Eastern and uh, North African regions, enabled by the advanced cloud solutions and leading industrial software. It also, it also joined with the Lindy Engineering in March 2023 to develop ammonia cracking technology. Lindy Engineering intends to offer its um, ammonia cracking technology to cu current and new customers, creating a new and commercial opp opportunities within the global lower carbon en energy supply chain. Benefits of internationalization for Saudi Aramco. The main reason that a company goes international is to improve its revenue. Global revenue has doubled from 2017 to 2023. Aramco wants to reduce its dependency on oil and has already started the diversification process by investing in renewable energies. Government-led reforms and the growth of the private investments in new sectors will help support non-oil economic growth in Saudi Arabia. Amid an expected sharp slowdown in overall growth this year. Strategic partnerships with global and local companies around the world help them spread their brand name to NAMAT program. Since NAMAT launched in 2011, 
the scale and the breadth of namath has increased significantly expanding from 32 to 55 investments within its first year its revenue which reached 440 billion dollars in 2023 make up about 40% of saudi arabia's gdp unlike many oil producers saudi arabia controls much of its supply chains from pipelines to shipping which keeps aramco's cost low saudi reserves in shallow sands are so easily accessible that aramco spends less than 10 dollars to produce each barrel of oil the bar graph on the right shows the future investment guide of saudi aramco the efficient supply chain can save the cost and time for the company king salman energy park a global energy hub provides a strong strong manufacturing base for aramco and also creates a ripple effect for job creation and workforce development spark which will sure be catalyst for vision 2030 saudi arabia's plan to diversify the kingdom's economy beyond oil and building a thriving private sector having suppliers located in more than one region creates redundancy and suppliers diversity while enabling flexible production capacity if uh, suppliers in one region are affected by a local event aramco can source from uh, suppliers in a different region they are also using automation robotics and artificial intelligence to achieve successful in inventory management that's why aramco formed a joint venture with dhl in february 2024 to create an advanced supply chain and logistics system known as asmo in saudi arabia asmo is poised to emerge as a regional supply chain hub covering supply chain service from procurement to logistics warehouse and even a b2b e market for customers the flow diagram in the right explains the supply chain demonstration of blue ammonia from japan to saudi arabia and the past challenges for this hackers from a group called the cutting sword of justice made a cyber attack on amco in 2012 with a virus known as chamun it damages 30000 computers at saudi amco the malware wiped files and replaced them with a burning us flag image 25 drones and missiles were used for attacks in aqueb and kuraits in 2019 it took out 5.7 million barrels per day of crude the 17 minute strike by 18 drones and three low flying missiles caused a spike in, uh, spike in uh, drones and three low flying oil price supply Fry, uh, fires and damage and shut down more than 5% of global oil supply as a result of geopolitical issues the oil price fluctuated rapidly which significantly impacted their revenue between 2014 and 2016 the 2014 and 16 oil price plunge has cast long shadow for oil exporters significant declines in investments and output generally leads to weaker potential output growth over extended periods of time the initial drop in oil price from mid 2014 to early 2015 was primarily driven by supply factors including booming us oil production the setting geopolitical concern and shifting opec policies and also maintaining such a complex infrastructure in a high temperature and high pressure environment is tough aramco has to meet the production quotas in line with opec and oil production varies month by month due to covid-19 Aramco's net value fell by nearly 44% compared to the previous year, where reported earnings of $49 billion in 2020, down from $88.2 billion in the year before. CEO Ahmed Nasir described last year as one of the most challenging years in history. The map on the right side shows the attacking sides of Saudi Aramco. As one of the major contributors to climate change, Saudi Aramco wants to change its ways. It aims to align all their investment and production with its Vision 2030. An impressive 87% of 1,064 initiatives were planned for 2023 are completed or on track. In 2019, Saudi Aramco was publicly listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange Tadawul. The same year, the company was also listed on the London Stock Exchange. According to CNN Business, the company launched the world's largest IPO in the same year, releasing 1.5% of its stock to the market the long awaited ipo of saudi aramco went public in 2019 the ipo values aramco at roughly 1.7 trillion they need to maintain the post ipo expectancy of shareholders and investors as they want to reduce their carbon emissions they are also working with partners like slb and lin to build one of the world's largest ccus hubs in the jubail industrial zone in the eastern province of saudi arabia the jubail ccus 
uh, hub will capture up to 9 million me metric tons of CO2 per year starting in 2027. Even though Aramco has signed a peace agreement with the Iran-backed Houthi militia, the threats are likely to evolve rather than disappear as they gain more popularity and advance. It is unclear how the Houthis will react in the event that the Saudis make consecutional uh, foreign policy or uh, national security policy decisions that conflict with their interests or ideologies, such as expanding the U.S. presence in the kingdom. Now, the U.S. produces almost 20 million barrels per day of petroleum, and the production of U.S. shale oil can impact Aramco's revenue and capture market share. The bar graph on the right shows how much Saudi Aramco wants to reduce the carbon emissions in the future. The risk mitigation strategies uh, used by Saudi Aramco uh, has made their investment diversify in the energy sectors after COVID-19. And the Aramco signs a, a $11 billion agreement with Total Energies for developing a petrochemicals in 2023. It constructions its schedule to begin during the first quarter of the 2023 uh, with a commercial operation targeted to start in 2027. Also, buying in a 40% stake in Gas Oil Pakistan in 2024, as a ga Gas Oil Pakistan is diversified downstream fuels and uh, lubricants and convenience store operators. It's a, one of the largest retail and store companies in Pakistan. Stepping into the LNG industries is next de with the next decade and joining with the Bo Steel in 2023 to build the kingdom's first steel plate manufacturing complex. The complex will feature equipment mindful of the environment, including an iron furnace that uh, runs on natural gas and emits a 60% day less carbon emissions emissions that than a traditional furnace. Also, making an expansion globally like acquiring the 100 plus years old brand Wolverine for 2.65 billion uh, US dollars in 2023. Started in a joint ventures with the Baker Huge to create a non-metallic products and non-metallic products are being deployed in a variety of uh, industries from the oil and gas sectors to automotive and building and construction and packaging and renewables. On the technology side, Aramco is operating with a French startup, the Pascal, to install a first quantum computer in Saudi Arabia. Under the terms of the agreement, the neutral atom quantum vendor Pascal will install and maintain and operate a 200 qubit quantum computer scheduled for deployment in the second half of 2025. Aramco, a leading global energy and chemical company, and a Neom Energy and Water co Company, in Innova, have entered in a joint de uh, development agreement to build and operate a pioneering synthetic electric electrofuel demonstration facility. As far as the cost management, Aramco uses advanced ERP systems like SAP, Ariba, and S4 HANA. Due to the simplification of the database in S4 HANA, the software development lifecycle will be reduced by 10%, resulting in a faster time uh, to market for the deployment of the new solution. Sourcing under the in-kingdom total value add program helps them to cut costs. Corporate procurement agreement are a uh, key pillar in our in-kingdom total value add program, which aims to ensure 70% of the Aramco procurement spend remains in the Saudi Arabia. Aramco recently signed a 40 CPU worth US uh, 6 billion US dollars. The signing took the Aramco's total number of CPAs to more than 250, with a combined value of more than US 40 billion dollars. Their environmental strategies lies in parallel with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Aramco announced its ambition to achieve net zero scope 1 and scope 2 greenhouse gas emissions across its wholly owned operator SS by 2050. They also have to take a serious precautions like environment impact assessment for new projects to make sure their carbon emissions are low. Planted approximately 6.5 million mangroves and an additional 1.1 million native trees in the kingdom during the year. Designated additional biodiversity production areas, bringing the total number of BPS to 14, covering over 1,700 kilometers. They made sure that their employees knew how to work under the safety regulations by conducting enterprise risk management. Classes monthly for their uh, employees in, since 2013, and the dynamic class it now includes areas such as the ERM general instructions, the corporate risk management policy, enhancements to the six-step risk management process methodology. In addition, a web-based tool called eGRC was implemented to store risk register data and to aid in reporting of risk trends and status of existing risks. One of the training and development best known programs, the Industrial Training Department, Aramco Apprenticeship Program, has been responsible for training nearly 70% of the company's workforce. The college degree program for non-employees creates a pathway 
to the employee for non employees by sponsoring them to attend top universities and obtain degrees in the field important to the company operations the advanced degree program provides employees with opportunities to pursue advanced degree at international universities in addition to these programs the hotster the hotster university program provides employees with the chance to work while pursuing advanced degrees to best in class universities worldwide to conclude saudi aramco has been one of the leading uh, oil producer in the past and the present to stay in the future they will also have to diversify their investment by joining hands with industry leaders and reducing their carbon emission with local production workforce development and government support they want to stay ahead in the race on the future thank you here are the references we are used we have used for this powerpoint presentation thank you once again